What's good, YouTube? You already know this boy, dog. Come and catch another video, man. And um, today, guys, I'm just bringing you my top five small Ford builds, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that like button. I'll wait five seconds. All right, man, let's get into it. This is the first build. It is a uh, rebound and wing. You guys know how popular this build is, man. I don't have to sit here and explain it to you and write it down on a sheet of paper of how popular this build is man this is a very popular lock build you know what i'm saying for small forts and um everybody that like playing lockdown out there but want to be a small fort and still be able to guard all five positions so this is the way i would make my rebound and wing if i was to make one even though i'm not gonna lie guys i really don't recommend it unless you're just not good at 2k if you're not good at 2k then this is the type of build for you because all you have to do is hold defense and shoot threes and that's it that's it, guys. And you can set a few screens and stuff. But for the most part, all you need to do is set screens, grab rebounds, um, hold defense, and shoot threes, and that's it. And, guys, that is the job of a rebounding wing. Because you can see you get 17 shooting, 20 defense and rebounding. That's that's great for a small forward, uh, for, um, deep, you know, for just a lock build. And, um... I would recommend, you know what I'm saying, you can make them 6'9 if you want to. 6'9, it really don't matter about the height, it's all your preference, but me, I'm going to make them 6'9. I want to be big. I'm not trying to make a small forward to be 6'7, guys. Like, that is a, a smart thing to do. Why make a small forward to be 6'7? If you want to make a small forward, you know what I'm saying, the goal is to be big. If you want to be small, you know what I'm saying, make a guard, make a shooting guard, make a rebounding guard or something like that. But if you want to be a small forward, why would you not go 6'9"? So obviously, you can choose either lock or sharp shooting takeover. And it's really your preference, man. I just choose lock takeover simply because, you know, you want to be the best at defending, superb at defending and, you know. But if you want a sharp shooting takeover, then... You know, go right ahead. Now, the next build we have, man, is the three-level score at the small forward, guys. Now, let me tell you guys something. For those of you that like scoring, well, well, I say this, I say this, I say this. For those of you guys that like Kawhi Leonard, you know, this is the perfect. Matter of fact, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. And, uh, well, those are about the main two for right now. Man, this is the perfect build. A three-level score is basically a score with defense. That's all it is. It's a score with defense. It's a good all-around build, man. It's just you got to be 6'7 at it. You can't be just too big and expect to, you know, you know what I'm saying, have these crazy attributes. But for the most part, a three-level score is definitely an all-around build. If you want to play like a wild Leonard, you know what I'm saying, holding tight defense and getting still still being able to do you know what i'm saying basic dribble moves and get open and shoot basically create your own shot too with the basic dribble moves and to be able to defend at a good rate you know what i'm saying at a high pace being able to clamp up your defender and do it on both ends of the court you know what i'm saying this is what a three level score is it is a Kawhi leonard build it is like a exact Kawhi leonard build if you really think about it it's, it's an exact replica of Kawhi Leonard Bill. It ain't the exact attributes. Now, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it is the exact Kawhi Leonard Bill. Now, you could have went 6-7 right there just like Kawhi, but I wanted to go 6-8 because I like being different. I don't like, you know, being the same and stuff like that. Now, you can minimize, minimize the wingspan. Well, no, I did go 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven and 6-8 is your preference. I thought I went 6-8, but 6-7 six, or 6-8, six, it is your preference, you know. Just go 6-7 to make it exact like Kawhi, you know. And, um, yeah, guys, this is a three-level score. Now, you have plenty of good takeover badges to choose from. I prefer shot creating, slashing. Yeah, shot creating or slashing, guys. That's going to be your best bet to go. Now, the next build we have, guys, is, um, it's a, it's a slept-on build, y'all. It's, it's a real slept-on build that a lot of people don't really make like that. It's a mid-range finisher, guys. Now, it is basically a Kobe Bryant as a small forward. That's exactly what it is. It's basically a Kobe Bryant as a small forward being able to do everything. 
When I say you can do everything, you can defend, you can shoot threes, you can take it to paint, you can dribble and break ankles as well. Now, with this build, man, you guys, and even you even have a post game with this build. If you if you um, you know what I'm saying, you know how to play in the post and stuff, and you know how to time your meter in the post, then you definitely have a post game that you can look forward to on the 2v2s and um even you know what i'm saying the 5v5 wreck whenever you need to just get a bucket you know so that your teammates can just go to you and they can give you and you can get them a bucket just like that now the only downside to this build is you know it is lacking you know what i'm saying a few defensive badges it is lacking a few defensive badges but at the same time if you gonna be, I believe you'll be at the three with this build. A three or the, the three or the two, you'd be perfect because, especially in a red game or something like that, you won't have to worry about having an important defensive matchup. You'll always be, you know what I'm saying? You won't have to really worry about. You'll always be on something that you ain't really gotta worry about too much, you know? Something that you can actually match up with defensively and not really have a big job on defense. So, Definitely, you'll be at the three or two and five defensive badges, five or six defensive badges is definitely enough to defend, you know what I'm saying, the two or the three, and maybe even the four, depending on what's at the four and y'all line up. But, you know, like I said, you'll mostly be at the two or the three, or maybe even the four sometimes. And that will be enough to defend that, in my opinion, especially if you have a good center with good defensive badges and stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? The mid-range finisher is a Kobe Bryant, like I said, because y'all know Kobe Bryant had that had them clamps, you know. He had them clamps. He was very two-way. He could do it on both ends of the court and get you a bucket when you needed it. Could shoot, could post up, could dunk, could do it all, man. Could dribble, you know. He could do every single thing, and this is why this is a goaded build at the small forward. Now. Go 6-8 with them because you, you want to be the best that you can possibly be. You want to be the best you can possibly be and the biggest that you can possibly be as a mid-range finisher because it'll, it'll save you a lot, you know what I'm saying? Save you a lot of trouble as far as defending in the paint too. And um, you'll be able to get a lot of more blow-bys in my opinion when you're like 6-8. You'll be able to blow by your defender a little bit more because you'll be stronger than them. And so, make sure you created them how I created them. Now, you could have chose slash. You could choose slashing or shot shooting. Not shot shooting, but slashing or shot creating takeover. It's your choice on that. Now, hopping straight into the next one. We have one of my favorites, man. Yes. One of my favorites, guys. We have the facilitating finisher. Now, the facilitating finisher bill is what got me here today. It's what got me here today, man. What you guys seem to enjoy. Y'all seem to like my concept of wanting to make an all-around small fort. Now, I believe with the way I made this facilitating finish, I made them a little different because I wanted to, you know, do something that I would have done with my regular facilitating finish if I had the chance. But, nah, I think I made them the same. It really doesn't matter, man. A facilitating finisher is a facilitating finisher, and it, they just got different variations. But anyway, um... As you can see, I'm basically just making them how I made my last facilitating finisher, if I'm not mistaken. I, I really was just in a rush job making this. But um, now that I think about it, I, I probably did make them how I made my other facilitating finisher. And my facilitating finisher that I had, he, all he was was just a lock. He was just a, a playmaking lock, really. That's all he was. And uh, yeah, guys, y'all know that playmaking lock, he was, you know, but those of y'all watch my early videos, Man, that playmaking like he was a pretty good one. You know, he could do it on both ends of the court. He could score slash in the paint and uh, defend against centers and stuff like that. And it's an all-around build if you guys ask me. I mean, you got Hall of Fame defensive badges and you have Hall of Fame playmaking badges. Like, you get 16 defensive rebounding, 14 playmaking, 10 shooting, 9 finishing guys. Like... How can you not with eight finishing guys? How can you not like that? 17 was well, 17. Y'all, man, listen. I'm sorry. I'm live recording this, man. I, I I meant to put this video out like some days ago. But yeah, y'all see, so you get 17 defensive rebounding, 14 playmaking, and uh 
eight finishing and I believe ten shooting. Yeah. So if that ain't all around, I don't know what it is, guys. And that legend, you you just have a. I'm talking about you have a pile of badges that you can choose from. And y'all pay attention to how I made them right here. Pick the slash and take over. Don't pick nothing else, man. The playmaker take over. It's just a waste of time, guys. It really is. Now, coming to my last build. Guys, this is my favorite one. Without a doubt. Guys, this is the best, in my opinion. The best build for a small forward in the game. You can't tell me anything different. You can defend, you can dribble, you can hold defense, you can slash to the paint, you can shoot threes from deep. Yes, you can do it all. We have my well rounded wing. At six foot nine, you will be able to break ankles, defend all five positions. Shoot threes from deep green lights. Slash in the paint. You'll be able to do every single thing at six foot nine at a fast speed. Tell me what is there not to like about this build, guys. Being able to do everything and being at a tall height is such a... It's such an advantage in this game, man. You know if you're ice on at 6'9", and you have a center on you that is very slow, you can do anything. And when I say you can do anything, guys, you can do anything. You don't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying, not being able to do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, guys. As a small, I mean, as a small four, yeah, at 6'9". You can do anything you want at six nine and be so quick with it as well. You can do it all on both ends of the court. You know what I'm saying? You can do it all. You don't have to worry about being stopped in the paint as much because you'll be getting past your defender. Now I ain't saying just get no contact dunks and nothing like that, or you just dunking everywhere stuff. I'm saying, man, you just can get past your defender. You know, and you can score a lot in the paint if you want. You don't have to worry about being stopped. You don't. Because half of the time you'll be breaking your opponent's ankles. And they just won't be able to keep up with you. They just won't. And the center will be on you most of the time anyway. So you definitely won't have a problem scoring. Now right here I was looking to see. I had to look through my old video. You know exactly how to make this build. Because this build is tricky. I was trying to see what did I do to have 10 defense and rebounding badges because um i know my build the, the uh wheel around the wing build that i always make that i like the best that got me you know what i'm saying the views i had to realize that uh it gave me 10 defensive badges and i ain't want to just let y'all you know what i'm saying not make the right the right variation of this build and um y'all have to make sure i found what did i do wrong because you need those 10 defensive rebounding badges you need that gold rim protector that goal um the goal intimidator and the gold rebound chaser and that bronze clamps or whatever you want to pick on you know what i'm saying you do need that that is that is definitely you know it's essential and so, so y'all guys can see right here i did figure it out and you know we got that under control everything straight now you want to pick the fine go six foot nine and make them exactly exactly 249 pounds so you'll be able to get those blow bys your interior defense will be good you'll be able to defend in the paint and you know i believe you can dunk more like that you can get past your defenders and be able to trigger more dunk animations because that strength that it gives you it gives you a lot of strength when you you know what i'm saying when your player goes up in weight it gives you a lot of more strength so i do so i do think weight and strength has a big 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 effect on you know what i'm saying yo player overall so definitely put everything you know what i'm saying put your weight up at 249 but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash with that like button like share and subscribe and i'm out